Enterprise Canal Company is building a new 1.6-mile pipeline to modernize its irrigation infrastructure. It's also building three aquifer recharge basins to enhance the Eastern Snake Plain Aquifer. Idaho Governor Brad Little toured these new leading Idaho water projects to underscore their value to the state of Idaho. I want to thank the board and the Enterprise Canal Company for making this investment. This project checks three different boxes. It improves water conservation, it enhances water reliability, and increases our ability to store and recharge water in the drought years. Enterprise received a $2.7 million aging infrastructure grant from the Idaho Water Resource Board to build the new irrigation pipeline. The pipeline is expected to conserve 5,125 acre-feet of water per year. One acre-foot of water is equal to one acre of land flooded to the depth of one foot. Enterprise also received $5 million in federal ARPA funds from the Idaho Water Resource Board to develop the trio of recharge basins. I come from an agricultural background, but in my life, we never built ponds that would leak. But uh, I know exactly what you're all trying to do here. The idea is to pour water into the recharge basins to enhance the Eastern Snake Plain Aquifer. High demand for water across southern Idaho is overdrafting the aquifer by about 200,000 acre-feet per year. The Eastern Snake Plain Aquifer extends from St. Anthony to Hagerman. It provides water for irrigating crops, drinking water for communities, water for business and industry, and fresh spring water for the largest rainbow trout farms in America. So we need at least um, 20 sites like this, maybe 30 or 40. It's a win-win for everybody. The three recharge basins will have the potential to send 5,700 acre-feet of water into the ESPA each year if surplus flows are available. Those recharge flows will add capacity to the Idaho Water Resource Board's recharge program overall. The board seeks to recharge 250,000 acre-feet of water into the ESPA each year to help restore the aquifer. On behalf of myself and the others in the community, Governor Little, you have literally uh, set a high standard and we see your vision and we're here to help you fulfill that vision. Healthy aquifers benefit all who live, work, and farm and tour here. This valley is where we raise children on family farms, where we provide for our families. Governor Little noted that the Water Board has received $450 million in federal ARPA funds and state surplus funds over the last five years to modernize water infrastructure statewide. The board created the Aging Infrastructure Grant Program for that purpose. It has funded 19 grant projects to improve water sustainability in Idaho so far, with more to come. We have done some incredible things in the last few years, and for good reason. Things are changing, profit margin in agriculture always continues to, to be under pressure, and we need to do better, faster, and probably most importantly, more sustainable, uh, so that uh, our children and, and grandchildren can be part of agriculture in Idaho. We will continue uh, to dedicate more and more resources, but it's gonna be a team effort. Everybody's gonna have to put their shoulder to the wheel, uh, move uh, sustainability, move efficiency, move recharge forward uh, into the future and it's going to be incredibly important. And on behalf of all the people that I know and represent, thank you for your support, thank you for your participation, and thank you for all you've done. And Governor Little, I applaud the actions of those in the, in the state office who've made this a reality. <laughs>